In this tutorial you will learn, how to create a client sign paging from the data view component. We added a dynamic table, displaying records from a data view data source. Currently it displays all the records, but we want to add paging. First, let's set up the page size. Select the data view component and in the page size field, enter how many records should be displayed per page. Now, we are going to create an query parameter to store the current page. This way on page reload, the paging status won't be lost. We already added query manager component and we select it. If you haven't done this, just click the add new component, then state management and then select query manager. Now, to find the query parameters, click the add new button and select add variable. We call it page as it will store the current page. Now, as we added the query parameter, let's bind it to the data view. Select the data view component. Add new dynamic attribute. Select page. And click the dynamic data picker button for the page attribute. Under query parameters, select the one we just created, page. And now, let's add the paging. Select where you want to insert it. Select Insert Child. Open the Generators menu. And select Paging Generator. Open the Paging Source menu and select Data View. Then, select your Data View instance from the drop down. Set up the Styling and Appearance options. Then, enable the State Manager option. Select your Query Manager component from the drop-down and then select the query parameter name page in the offset parameter menu click OK and you are done let's preview the results you can navigate through all the records using the paging controls if you reload the page the current page is saved thanks to the query manager that's how easy it is to create client sign paging using Bootstrap for Paging Generator.